Welcome everybody back on Siegel Talks here at the Martin e. Siegel Theater Center, the Graduate Center of CUNY. Another day uh, uh, in New York City, in Manhattan, another day on planet Earth and another day uh, this COVID and uh, things keep on happening in a relentless pace. The Siegel Center is embarking since many, many weeks, over 14 now on a tour around the globe, but also in New York City and in the US and to talk to artists, to hear their experience of this unprecedented crisis, what it means to make art, essential questions we all ask ourselves, what are we doing, where are we coming from, what should we be doing, what is changing, what has already changed, and what really should change. So it's a kaleidoscope uh, of experiences, of particular personal ones, and we are honored and uh, privileged to to have these great artists uh, from all the continents and from almost a hundred now we talk to um, to, to, to get their insights and it's been the most valuable for me personally but I think also for listeners who did let us know and uh, we thank Halwan for giving us uh, this forum though the United States officially left the WHO the World Health Organization yesterday in the moment of the greatest health crisis of the country they think it's a good idea to to lead, no longer influencing policies, no longer having access to studies, no longer uh, being part of the world community. 60,000 people in the US were infected yesterday, the highest number ever recorded. And uh, we are all uh, stunned uh, of these uh, uh, developments. Um, there's a half a million infections in Africa, um, 3 million in uh, Latin America and uh, over 3 million alone in the United States. So it's, a, it's a, a shocking and Israel, Serbia, Romania, Brazil, Puerto Rico, and now is hitting very hard after all that this poor country suffered through uh, another, um, um, another great, great, great crisis. And um, we uh, do really do not know where all of this is going. Um, shocking news also for us at the university overnight, basically the Trump administration said that all foreign students basically have to leave the country if there's no in-person teaching. Um, it is uh, shocking. Uh, Harvard President Larry uh, Bakoff said the order came without notice and its cruelty is only surpassed by its recklessness. It's uh, shocking to break up the uh, lives of foreign international students uh, here in the US. So Harvard and MIT is suing the US government and it's rightfully so. Um, also at CUNY, in our PhD program, we have many international students who make the program so so great uh, what it is. And uh, it is uh, most probably just a tactic to force universities to open in the fall to do in-person teaching with put lives of faculty, students, the staff, the people um, in danger. Even New York schools and other schools, normal schools in the country are being forced to open the threat Trump uh, Trump just threatened this morning to take away subsidies and funding if they uh, uh, choose to stay close in a time, as I said, where uh, we experience unprecedented uh, losses. The New York stores are still closed. New York indoor restaurants are closed. Uh, Brooks Brothers, a 200 year old company filed for bankruptcy, bankruptcy this morning. It's a, a, a shocking um, development, so what we have. And I think it's fair to say that Trump has failed this country like no president before. He refuses to wear a mask, is not a good uh, 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 symbol of uh, uh, encouraging people. It leads to death. So he is personally responsible for so many deaths. And, uh, and he, inject, he suggested that people should inject uh, disinfectant in their own blood. And uh, he thinks the only problem is we have too much testing. And that's why numbers are high, even so people cannot get tested. Long lines, I tried to yesterday in New York City. And they say the next one is the 17th or the 19th that's available. So it's a, a shocking. And the question is, what do we do as human beings? And of course, artists who are so close uh, to the presence, the experience of the presence and experiencing and anticipating the future um, are uh, more for sure struggling even more in this experience. And uh, today we go back uh, to the great uh, country of Japan, a great superpower in the way in theater with the great tradition. And long they are re-staging uh, performances the way they were done 400 years ago, but creating on the same time great contemporary work, whether it's playwrights or Buto that came out of Japan as tradition. So it's a fantastic, unique mixture with a rich tradition 
um, also globally connected after perhaps moments of more um, isolation. And with us, we have the great Satoko Ishihara. She is uh, here with us, a young, uh, a significant voice in the chorus of uh, Japanese um, theater and Aya Ogawa, a brilliant translator and uh, New York director on her own and writer. Satoko is a playwright, director, novelist. She directs and writes plays that deal with human behavior, the psychology of the body and the unease surrounding these themes, using her uh, unique sense of language and physical sensitivity. It's themes like sex, cross-mating, breeding are clinically portrayed with the viewpoint of women. She's a post-feminist feminist, post-punk punk writer, creator, I would say. And uh, Aya, the great Aya Ogawa is a Tokyo-born, Brooklyn-based playwright, director, performer, and a brilliant, brilliant uh, translator. Uh, he was also part of the translation session uh, of the Center for Humanities, uh, which we helped uh, to, uh, to, uh, to create. And uh, she uses a stage for exploring cultural identity and other facets of the immigrant experience. And she was part of the play company under the radar here, artwork and the great uh, 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 Suicide Forest, uh, when she uh, directed Haruna Lee's uh, play that I think is a, is a fantastic, uh, one of the best works um, of the season. So both of you, thank you. I apologize for my long opening. And Satoko, where are you? What time is it? Um, now I'm in Tokyo and uh, now it's one o'clock midnight. One o'clock past midnight, uh, wonderful. So how is the situation in Tokyo and Aya can translate for you? Tokyo de ima no jokyo, donna kanji desu ka? Ima wa, eto, hijou jitai sengen te yuno wa, ano, kaiju sarete, ano, shibaraku, chotto tattan desu kedo, ano, mata, ano, Tokyo dake de, itinichi no kansen sha ga 100 nin o koete kitari to ka te yu kanji desu ne. So right now we're in a moment where they had released us uh, from the uh, a state of emergency um, for a while, but just recently there have been about a hundred infections per day just in Tokyo. So things are turning towards the worse right now. Mm -hmm. 100 infection per day seems to the US relatively low, but it's high for Japan. Mm. ヒチニチに100人っていうのはアメリカの標準で言うと結構低いように聞こえるんですが、日本では多いですかね。そうですね。100人は今までずっと切ってたので非常事態が解除されてから、あの、なので今また第2波が来るんじゃないかっていうこと
アパートのルームメイトが一人いてあのアパートに住んでます。I live in Tokyo in, in a, an apartment with one roommate. Mm-hmm. あのそあの友達がコロナにかかったとか知り合いがコロナにかかったとか知り合いの知り合いがコロナにかかったっていうことも聞いていなくてあの知っている人がコロナにかかったっていうのは有名人ぐらいでなのでとてもこう平和な<笑>あの中であの家にいるっていう感じでした。Yeah, it's a, it's a little... Strangely peaceful because、um, I don't know anybody personally who has gotten sick. I don't have any friends of friends or acquaintances of acquaintances, even who have gotten sick from this. I've only、um, heard about really famous people、um, getting sick. So it's a strange time. I've just been at home in a seemingly very peaceful time.、Mm-hmm. Your work deals with um, um, Japanese society, the complex and complicated role of women, an aging society, and a society also、um, experiencing a loss of, of labor and, uh, and uh, work. So, how are your thoughts in this time of corona about Japan? Ano, Ichihara san no sakuhin wa. あのテーマとして日本社会を扱っていますよねあの特に女性の視点からとか高齢者とかあの女性と仕事とかあのを扱っていると思うんですけどこのコロナのせいであの自分の考えていることにを影響されましたかどういうことを今考えていますかあのー私はあの、まあ、とニューヨークでも講演した「妖精の問題」っていう作品があるんですけどそれをあの家から出られなくなった時にあの台本を新作を書きながらあの並行してあの Zoom で再演するっていうこともやっていてでその時にあの3年前に書いた台本なんですけどその今このコロナの状況下で。えー、それを読み直すと全然違うものにあの読めたりとかしてそういうあの発見はしていてあのなのであの台本を変えたりとかっていう再演ではなくてあのこのコロナでズームを使ってその台本をそのまま上演してその時そしたらこう。コントラストっていうか、3年前と今の状況がとても変わってるっていうことがあの浮き彫りになるかなと思って、そういうことをやってみたりはしました。So one of the things that I I've been doing or I have done is、um, I I wrote a play called A Question of Fairies, and this is something that、um, in New York we had a reading of,、um, but during this lockdown time. I remounted this piece, which I wrote three years ago、uh, over Zoom. And I really felt that there were kind of different resonances to this piece now、um, in light of this age of Corona.、Um, it's not necessarily that I've been rewriting or, or, or re editing that work, but just finding new.、Um, New resonances and, and new things that are hitting me about work that I've written in the past, which has been a discovery. What are the new things she's finding? So, you know, say again, she said, Do you at a she had can got at the end of the あこ,れこの作品はあの3パートに分かれてるんですけど最後のパートはあの金を扱っていてあの自分の女性器の中にある金を使ってヨーグルトを作るっていうレ,レクチャーのような演劇なんですけどもでその時にあの「殺菌は本当にいいことなんですか?」っていうことを作品の中で言っていてで今その社会で生きてるとどんどんもう。殺菌を毎日毎日しなければ生きていけなくてでそのまあ菌と
、ウイルスっていうのは別のものですけど、とってもこう重なるところがあって、っていうところとか、まあ、あと、あのーまあ、自分がこうなんて進化するっていうことが、あのー、自分がお母さんから生まれて、あのー、お母さんの,ここの,その似てる部分があるっていうこの受け継ぐようなあの縦,の,あの,なんていうの縦の進化というかこういうものをもあるんですけどその横の進化っていうかあのウイルスはこう人から人に移ったりしてこう変化していくとかあのそういうその社会の中で生きてることで親から与えられる進化ではなくて横から与えられる進化っていうものを,をとてもなんか意識させられました。So... Question of fairies is a play that is written in three parts. There are three sections to it. And the third act of it, it takes the form of a, a lecture performance. And basically, it's about、um, bacteria. And specifically,、uh, through the course of this third part,、um, th the topic is about how to take the naturally existing bacteria within women's bodies. And to make yogurt out of it.、Um, so, the, in this part of the play,、um, I explore this question of、uh, whether sterilization, antibacterial sterilization, is really truly a good thing to over sterilizing the environment. And, and now, obviously, viruses are, are different from bacteria, but I think that there are enough similarities to the way we think about them.、Um, and now, of course, we live in a world in which we have to sterilize everything, sterilize surfaces in order to be safe. So that's one thing that felt very vibrant to me about the play. Another thing that、um, I've been thinking about is、um, evolution or change. And one form of、uh, the human evolution, of course, is. Is a vertical evolution and a vertical change. What is it? We are all born from our mothers. We inherit, we inherit certain、uh, characteristics from our parents.、Uh, so there's a verticality to, to our progress or to our change. But there's also,、uh, as human beings, we live within society and there's a horizontal. Inheritance, how are we affected、um, by our environment, by society?、Um, so it's made me really conscious of this、uh, kind of horizontal way of, of change and evolution that we exist in. Is it easy for you to write at the moment? Ima, Gikyoko, Kakunoa, Ano. 書きやすい状況ですかうんあ,あの多分4月に思っていることと今思っていることはだいぶ変わってきてはいるかなと思うんですよね4月の時はあのあまりにもこう現実がフィクションフィクションのように思えてあのそれに太刀打ちできるフィクションを自分は作れないっていうあの思考が働いたんですけど今はあのそれも落ち着いてきてあのそのもうちょっと距離を持ってあの物事を見れるようになってあのたくさんのこう、まあ、問題とかがあるからたくさん材料があ,のあるなというふうには感じてます。Yeah, I think that, um... Things have changed. I mean, back in April, I would say that it was very difficult for me to write because reality itself seemed like fiction. And it was hard for me to kind of then, from that place, generate a fiction that could kind of stand up to that.、Um, but now,、uh, with a little bit more calm and with a little bit more distance from what's happening, Um, I'm finding it easier to write. There, there are a lot more things and problems to write about, for sure. 
Mm -hmm. um, how was the mood within Japanese artists? You, I feel uh, still uh, Fukushima is on the mind of uh, so many uh, uh, contemporary work. Uh, Toshiki Okada talked about this. Um, how is the experience of this global catastrophe uh, influencing uh, the atmosphere? あの、状況は日本のアーティストとかどういうふうに受け止めていると思いますか。うん。あの、例えば演劇をやってる人をあの、演劇がそれはあの、私は福島を経験した時はあの、大学を卒業した年ちょうど大学を卒業する年だったんですけど、2011年。で、その時はあの、私は今よりも全然あの、何も分かってないというか、学生が終わったばかりで で、あの、その、周りの演劇をやってる子たちも、ま、若い子が今よりも若い人が全然たくさんいたんですけど、あの、社会の問題に対して興味があるっていう態度を取ることを、あの、見せない人が多かったですね。でも今そういう人はあの
、私がその、先月末書き終わったものは、あの、えっと、ギリシャ喜劇をベースにした、ギリシャ喜劇の構造を使った劇なんですけど、えっと、それは、あの、かなりあえてというか、わざと、あの、現在の社会の状況をあの捉えあの風刺的に捉えたいっていう試みを持ってやりましたそれはあの今まではあの結果的にそうなっていたっていうことがあるけどそこまであの意識的にやろうっていうことはあまりしていなかったんですけどあのコロナのことにかかわら,かかわらずあの今日本の状況を見ていて自分なりに思うことをあのなんでしょうあの露骨に入れたいっていう気持ちがあの出てきてそういうものを書きました。Um, yes, I, I do think that、um, I have been influenced. In fact, the, the script that I just finished writing at the end of last month. Um, is structured like a Greek tragedy, but it really intentionally reflects、uh, what is going on、uh, societally. In the past, I think that my work、um, may have ultimately、uh, gotten to a place where it reflects、um, societal issues and such, but in the process of writing it, I was never that、uh, conscious about being explicit. Um, about that. But this new play that I've written is very much intentional and conscious in my、um, including the way I've experienced my, I, the way I interpret the things that are happening in society, including、uh, the coronavirus, but other elements of Japanese society as well. そ,うそれはやっぱりその今の状況があのすごく特殊であの、まあ、言ってみれば面白い状況なのでそれに合わせたことをあのぶつけていくあえてぶつけていくっていうのはあのことがなんだろうやってみたいっていうことがすごく湧いてきて。あのまあ、コロナのことではないんですけどすごく極端な右翼の人っていうのはすごく出てきていると思うんですね世界的に。で日本でもそういう最近あのあの選挙があったんですけどあの、まあまあ、あの前からやってた人が続いてやるっていうそのまあなんていうかそのまあ当たり前の。まあ、予想自分が予想していた結果になったんですけども、あのー、その中にあのすごくすごい人種差別的なことを言う,あの極,う極端な右翼の人がいたんですけど、まあ、この人は、まあ、も,もちろん落選したんですけど、あのー、前出た時よりもかなり票数を伸ばしていてでそのことをすごくあの怖く感じました。でそういうこともあってそういうものをあの作品の中に取り入れたりしました。ああ。The, the circumstances right now head on.、Um, I think this is not specifically about the coronavirus itself, but I think we're seeing globally that、uh, right wing voices are really coming to the forefront. And there was an election recently in Japan, and the results of the ele- election were、um, not particularly surprising to me. Um, but there was one candidate who、uh, was from the right and who was voicing very extreme、um, racist things.、Um, and 
I felt that it was really terrifying um, that this person was receiving more votes than they had in the past. So that was something that I had to um, face head on. Do you think art and theater can be a part changing Japan into a, a, a place where um, there is perhaps less uh, suffering, where there is more understanding. Um, and uh, is art for you an individual practice or a social or political practice? アートや演劇とかは日本を変えることのできる力を持っていると思いますか うん、多分あの、ています。そういうことを多分言うことをとても今、そう、差別がいけないっていうことをたくさん ムーブメントあの、ことあの、ストーリーというか、物語を作って言える。っていうのが。あると思います。そのツイッターのような、あの。短い文字で、その切り取られて。るようなものではなくて。up um, until about three years ago, I would say that theater had been quite an individual practice for me, or something that was driven by my own personal. Um, desire but these days i would say that my my theater practice is very much in an effort to improve society um i 
would say that I was probably embarrassed to have to come out and say that so explicitly, um, but that the world is changing in such a way that um, we have to be that explicit um, and that we can be that explicit and it's necessary to be very explicit. Um, art, I really think that it is another way to change society um, that is separate from um, Twitter or, you know, or larger protests and, and, and protest movements, which I think are also necessary. But for example, um, you know, I think it's really important for people to come out and say that, you know, it's, it's wrong to be racist or wrong to be prejudiced. It's important for us to hear those personal anecdotes of people who have suffered um, because of a prejudice or racism. Um, but I think art is the space where we can create the space to explore why humans are prone to prejudice and racism in the first place. And you can't have these nuanced conversations on Twitter, you know, in just 140 characters, you, you'll just be devoured um, and never be able to, you know, leave the house or face society. Um, but but art is the place where we can have a more nuanced conversation about um, exploring why do these racist or prejudiced structures exist in the first place? Why are human beings uh, have the tendency towards them in the first place and how can we dismantle them? Hmm. Um. How is it for you as a young uh, female uh, theater artist to break into Japanese uh, theater? Is that, uh, how, how complex is that? Is that easy? Uh, your place deal with these questions. Is it easy? <laughs> あ、女性として日本の演劇界の中に入り込むのはどの風どういう風に難しいことだったんですか。ああ。逆に私はあの、その女性の劇作家っていうのが日本に今は少し増えてきましたけど、全然もっと少なかったと思うんですよ。で、その中で私はあの登場したので、あの目立つことができたっていうか、あの女性っていうことをすごく特別に扱われる機会が多かったかなと思います。で、それでその女性を扱うような企画にもたくさん呼ばれ
that, oh, you, you're writing about uh, women, you're writing about themes pertaining to women. Um, and also I had to recognize that I was receiving a lot of attention because I was a woman, because um, I was writing about things that people considered to be uh, women, women pertinent themes. So this is both good and bad. You know, I felt like I was getting the attention for, for being a woman writing about women's things, but also coming to terms with, you know, that consciousness about um, the things that I was writing about. In this time now, in this time of Corona, do you think uh, there is a sensitivity um, in audiences to, to uh, hear and see new work, possibly also work from women artists, but possibly also work in the digital realm, in the digital field, um, are you exploring representation of uh, your imagination on screen? Imano Corona no Jidai ni haitte shimatta n desu kedo, do omoimasu ka? Ano, kankyaku toshite wa, ano, このコロナの時代の中で新しい作品に興味を持つ人が多いと思いますかで新しい作品っていうのは、うんあまあ、女性のテーマの作品も含めてあのその生の演劇ではなくこういうのデ,デ,デジタルなプラットフォームを使った作品だとか市原さんじ自身は自分のイマジネーション自分の想像をこういうあの新しい画面越しで表現することをあの実現したいと思っていますか、うん、あの、うん、こその私はズームであのこの間作品をやったんですけどその時はそのズームでやらざるを得ないっていう状況をあの経験してみようって思ったんですね。そのだからあの急いでやったんです。あのこの状況にみんなこのコロナの混乱の状況にみんなが慣れてしまう前にこの混乱した中であのズームで演劇を見るっていう経験を自分もお客さんにさせたいし自分も見せるっていう経験をしたいと思ってあのやったんですね。で今すごくそのズームの演劇っていうのもたくさん出てきたしあの YouTube であの演劇をまああの、まあ、もちろん過去の作品を上あの記録したものをあの見せるっていうのもたくさんあったしあの、まあ、岡田さんとかもやってるようなその。映像で演劇のようなものを見せるっていうのをたくさん増えてきていると思うんですけどでこの今の状況で自分が今何をしたいかっていうとあのまだ私は見つけられていなくってその映像を使う必然性っていうものがあのまだ見つけられていなくってあの映像っていう映像作品っていうのはもともとそういう映像作家の方がいて作ってたもので演劇を映像でやるっていう必然性をまだ自分は見つけられていなくてそのすごい映像を作ろうと思ったらあの映像をもともと作ってる方にかなうわけがなくってで演劇をやってきた人間としてどう映像を使うかっていうことをちゃんと考えないとあの。何かに劣ったもの演劇本当の劇場でやる演劇に劣ったものでしかないし映像作品としても劣ったものにしかならなくってこれはとてもあの難しいしあのそこまで今それをあの自分が考える必要があるのかっていうのもあの迷っているところです。Um... So as I mentioned earlier, I did do a Zoom performance of a play that I had written. And um, that was because I 
wanted to experience something that was unique to that moment, which was uh, the necessity of doing theater over Zoom. Like I wanted to experience what that was like firsthand. And I wanted my audience to experience that. Um, and in order to meet that moment, we really rushed you know, the process and uh, because I wanted to experience that crisis, the crisis of the moment. Um, now, of course, um, some weeks and months have gone by and there are a lot more um, things happening over digital platforms. There are, are performances and readings of theater uh, scripts happening over Zoom. And obviously you can access more past productions over YouTube and such. Um, so there are a lot more opportunities for theater to be experienced over video, but I have to say that I haven't discovered yet what it is that I want to do moving forward, because honestly, there are video artists who have been making work for this digital platform for a long time before this. Um, and so what I am doing as a theater artist, I still need to think about because right now what I can create is, uh, is still lacking compared to a live theater experience. It is also still lacking from, you know, uh, a seasoned video artist perspective. Um, and I also am not sure whether it's an absolute necessity for me to think about um, having to evolve my theater practice in this way. Thank you. Thank you, Satoka. Satoko, um, I have a question to you. Um, you are part of the New York um, theater scene. Your work as a writer, director, and also a translator, you know, is so... Um, so fundamental essential, and you go back and forth to Japan. Um, how, how do you see the situation in Japan? What are differences to the New York experience of Corona and of the place artists are in? Um, well, I, I have to admit that I don't, um, what I can say is that my work in New York <laughs> has been totally canceled <laughs> for the rest of the year um, and possibly longer. It's a very, very sad and scary situation. Um, but Japan, even though they did go through a period of lockdown, everything has opened up again. Um, so most of my colleagues, friends and acquaintances in Japan are proceeding at, business as usual. Um, so the bulk of my work at the moment um, is almost 100% translation. Um, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I worry about the second wave. Um, but I, I mean, I'm just, I feel like everybody is in the same place of just waiting and seeing what's going to happen. Um, I was recently, you know, I, I was scheduled to direct um, a puppet show at here art center, but they've just made the decision to not have any live performances in their space for the rest of at least this calendar year. Um, yeah, it, but in Japan, it seems like much more normal now after a brief period of shutting down. So shows are going on, uh, there's a complete opening of theaters or it's like the social distancing or... Um... As far as I understand, everything is back to normal. Ichihara-san, now in Japan, there's a lot of people who are in Japan, and there's a lot of people あ、あの、ま、今月ぐらいから劇場は、ま、私の認識では空いてるのかなっていう感じですけど、客席とか、ま、客席とか満員になって
満員には多分できないですね。私も9月に公演があるんですけど、それは多分あの客席を少なくしてやらないといけないっていうガイドラインが。Mm-hmm. So theaters are, it seems like,、um, starting at the beginning of this month, things have, things have been going back to normal. That most theaters perhaps are working with a smaller capacity、um, with space in between audience members, but But things are moving forward.、Mm. That's amazing. Is there a, a, Japan, of course, also is famous for having been so isolated、uh, from the world for so many, many centuries.、Um, and now these are these kind of lockdowns and isolation. Are there historical、uh, comparisons in the history of Japan with the moment of the corona crisis now, such、uh, infections? なんか日本でのコロナの状況は歴史的になんか共通なものを経験したことありますかあのなんて言ったらいいんだろうあの、まあ、国として閉鎖していた時期も何百年前にもあった、うん、ありましたけどこういうコロナでの,あの引きこもり状況に。は日本としてどういうふうに見ているんでしょうかうんだいでも100年に一度の危機とかテレビではすごく言ってて誰も経験したことない危機だと思いますね。うん。I mean, on the TV, they're calling it, you know, the danger of the century. So, I don't think that there is、uh, an easy historical parallel that people are drawing in Japan.、Mm. And do, do you, Aya,、um, what do you think? Where does that fit in in, in Japanese、um, um, thinking, such a crisis? How does a society deal with this? Well, I think one thing, I mean, they talk about this in the news too, about how mask wearing is much more common in Asia or particularly in Japan, you know, and that probably has had a lot to do with the way the disease has、um, not spread as badly there、uh, than here.、Um, but, you know, as a frequent visitor to Tokyo, Um, and with a lot of acquaintances in Tokyo, I, I do feel like, particularly in the large cities,、um, Japanese people have a different sense of space, a different sense of personal space,、um, and that there is a lot more inward looking、um, that is more accessible perhaps to people. Um, than in America. I mean, you can see it when you go to the theater in Japan and versus theater in America. An, an American audience is so eager to laugh, so eager to express, so eager to kind of respond to what they see on stage. If you go to the theater in Japan, it will most likely be total silence, even when the audience is、uh, like fully enjoying themselves. Um, and that's one of the comments that I hear from Japanese artists when they tour to the US, you know, that they're just shocked by how responsive the audience is. But I think that it's really reflective of how the two cultures are different in terms of how、uh, the way they feel themselves in their bodies, with the way they feel themselves as a culture,、um, and that they will re- react and respond to this. Particular moment in history in different ways.、Mm-hmm. So it's more a stoic uh, 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 personal experience, not an outgoing emotional response. Yeah, I don't know if it's Before, stoicism. I mean, I'm not sure if it's stoicism because I do think that the, the, simil- the impulses are the same, but in Japan, perhaps they're much more accustomed to kind of turning that inwards.、Um, So, you know, you will have just as violent a, a Twitter war in Japan as you would in America.、Um, but what you can see in the world outside,、um, walking around, 
is probably quite different. A question for both of you. Do you think a Japanese theater will look different? I mean, there's the commercial theater, which we in America never see because it's so complex to travel and translation. And also they are so successful and then there's the traditional theater, which we do see uh, part of top, part sometimes the no, the kabuki, the bunraku, and the experimental work of works like Satoko and uh, Toshiki. But will there be a change in the fabric? of theater if there's a year without performances or in case it goes back and the second and third and fourth and fifth wave will it? Or do you think it will be uh, stable? Nihon de no engeki kai jitai wa ano corona ni yotte mo okiku kawaru koto ga aru to omoimasu ka? Kore wa ano mo commercial theater もう伝統伝統のものも実験的なものも全て入れてあの大きく演劇界が変わると思いますかこれによってうん大きく変わったら面白いとは思いますけど。あまり大きな変化っていうのはイメージできないかなと思います。あの震災の後とかはあの劇場であの上演例えば上演するときに始まる前にあのアナウンスがあるじゃないですかなんかその時にあの地震が起きたら津波が起きたらこういう風に逃
it was safe. Um, I, I don't know. I can't really say anything beyond that. Mm. I mean, if I understand right, the, the, the new art form, in a way, a revolutionary new art form of Bhutto came out of experience of post-World War II where rejection of traditional uh, Japanese uh, tradition that led to fascism, also a rejection of the values of the West who dropped the bomb and the idea of uh, the body, the skin, the burned skin, uh, infected skin, uh, created uh, 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 something completely new outside uh, the metropolises. It was more in the, in the north and uh, region of, uh, of northern region of Japan. Um, do you think uh, that, uh, is there anything detectable of a, of, of a new form or of a new, uh, new, 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 new approach to a theater that uh, um, will have an, as strongly perhaps as in fact as the Bhutto uh, discovery has given to the world? But ブトっていうものは第二次世界大戦の後にあの出てきたあの芸術だと思うんですけどそれは本当にあの原爆だとかあの都会だとかあの欧米に対しての拒否から生まれてきた芸術だと思うんですけどそういったあの大きな新しい
りあの見てないんですけど、あ今もうあの見られないと思うんですけど、岡田さんが、能、能を現代の,あの設定に置き換え、能のストラクチャーを使って現代劇を作るっていうのは見ました。それはすごく面白かったです。あのうん、ズームってこうあの今このなんその人が住んでる背景を使ったりできるのでそ,のそれぞれの背景でそれぞれの生活感というかそれぞれの背景を持ってであのさらにそのえその岡田さんの映像ではその、えー、映像のさらに後ろにまた背景を作って街の様子を映したりとかしていたんですけど。あのそれがこう、なんていうのか、ギリシャ劇とかも、その背景が、あの野外劇で、その都市だったと思うんですね。なんかそういう、あの、フィクションのものを、背景がリアルなもので見るっていうの、すごく面白かった。うん、Actually, Toshiki Okada, he's been writing a new series of、uh, contemporary no plays. And、uh, this is something that I, I was translating, but、uh, Satoko was able to see it.、Um, they were supposed to have you know, an actual production this summer, but because of what was happening, they had to、uh, postpone the full production until next year. But instead, they had、um, a performance reading of the, of the plays over Zoom.、Um, and Satoko was able to see, catch those. And she thought what, what was really interesting about them. Was that you know, each individual performer would be in their home and you get to see the background of their home and feel what or imagine what it would be like、um, for them in that particular environment for them.、Um, but also, there was a background created to the individual squares for the reading, and it really kind of was reminiscent of how I imagine.、Um, The Greek amphitheaters to work. Like you would see the stage, of course,、um, but then beyond the theater, you would see the landscape or the, or the cityscape.、Um, so it was kind of an interesting moment to experience that、um, background to the background.、Um, but I'm not sure whether this,、um, they just had two readings, and I, and I didn't. I didn't personally see them because they took place at like three or four in the morning, New York time.、Um, and I'm not sure whether the recordings are available、um, to us now.、Mm. But yeah, I mean, he also talked on the Siegel talks about his, his uh, engagement uh, with uh, the new media. And he said it was interesting that、uh, actors now have perhaps. The same presence as the director. You know, if they share a screen, even in the rehearsal process, there's some kind of a democratization going on. He said, I don't really know what it means, but、um, it means、uh, something. How is this support? We're coming closer to the end of the session, but how is this support? Satoko, do, is the Japanese、uh, government, is the city of Tokyo helping you? And you, Aya, as a, someone who has done so much for Japanese theater, are you getting help for your work? どうですか市原さんあの、日本の政府もしくは東京都からあのサポートをもらっていますか、今、この状況の中で。あのあの私が1個もらったのはあの、10分ぐらいの動画を作って、あの作ったらその1人10万円もらえるっていうものがあって。でもまあその、まあ、10万円ってそんなに助からない金額ではあってその一生懸命動画を作ったらあの、ね、10万円以上かかってしまいますよねでなのでまあそのお金をもらう手段として適当にって言ったらちょっとあれなんですけどあのお金をもらうためにその10万円以上のコストがかからないように。動画を作るっていうことにしかならなくてでそれはその都民の人があの自由に見れるようになる動画なんですけどなんかこれが自分の作品だと言って<笑>見せられるのがそんなにあの喜ばしくないような感じがしていてあまりなんかこう
まあそのなんだろうなんていうんですかねその芸術をやってるっていう証明を多分動画でさせようとしているだと思うんですけどなんかうんちょっと自分はこれはいい企画だとあまり思わなかったですけどでもお金が欲しいからそれはやりました。Um, there was one project where、uh, the, the city of Tokyo was offering、um, 10,000 yen, which is,、uh, I mean, sorry, 100,000 yen, which is equivalent to $1,000 more or less,、um, for artists to make a 10 minute video.、Um, and, you know, $1,000 is really not a lot of money. I mean, if you were really wanted to make a Fine work, a video art work, it, would, it could easily cost $2,000 just to make the work. So、um, I did participate in this, but really I, I'm not sure it was a, I could say that it was a good project. I don't, it was, it's hard for me as an artist to say that, you know, I am, I am proud of the work that I made for this project just because for me it was really a means of trying to make some money. Um, and, and therefore, to try to keep costs down so that I could have m a k e that money and not spend it on making the video.、Um, but that was something that I, I participated in.、Um, for me, I, I'm speaking as myself, I feel extremely lucky、uh, because. I, am, I have a partner who is able to continue working、um, at home. And so that is my support system. And I actually have、um, not, there are a lot of emergency grants that foundations are offering right now、um, that I have not been participating in applying for because I feel that. There are other people who are in who need the, the support much, much more than, than me. So I think that as a writer and also as a translator, there is work that I can do,、um, but the same is not necessarily true for performers or、mm. designers. So I really、um, hurt for them, my, all of my colleagues in the field. Yeah, no, it's devastating as you pointed out. Nothing will happen till the end of the year, potentially something in spring, but most probably also not.、Uh, it's a devastating loss. I think the UK, which all they have done wrong, they have one of the highest corona infection rates.、Uh, they neglected it like Trump for such a long time. But they just two days ago announced a $2 billion、uh, injection into the art industry and into the art institutions. And, To help artists so,、um, who have made such a contribution to the life, and especially in New York City, where the arts are so vital and they have also helped to turn the city around in the great catastrophe of the 70s when the city was almost bankrupt again. And、um, so I think、uh, we all need to find ways to、uh, also honor the work of artists. And、uh, having great art、uh, is a reward for a working society, having great. Uh, performances, music just shows that things are working, and,、uh, and America doesn't seem to be able to handle this well、um, at the moment. So, we don't see any, and it's connected. Art has been on the right side of、uh, history, of the right side of social justice, and arts have been always on the、uh, right side of the fight for the complex struggle for freedom and for liberties. And now we are here again, but it's not.、Uh, Not、uh, visible at the moment and,、uh, and not supported. And I think it's not a good sign、uh, for, for this society. And things will and should change.、Um, as a closing、uh, question, we often do that,、uh, Satoko and also Aya. So, what, what do you think、uh, is important for all of us to focus on at the moment in this time of Corona? And、um, with hopefully the TAC, the time after Corona. Visible at the end of the year or beginning of next, what do you think is of importance? My side of the testimony in the case of the Ishihara Tani to the Ima Naniga Ichiban Juyo Dato Kanjimaska, Kono, Corona Jidai, Corona Go Mo Fukumete, Naniga Ichiban Juyo Na 
ものだと思いますか演劇の話ですね。演劇に関わらず。演劇に関わらず。うん。あうんそうですねすごい難しい話ですけどなんか正直に言えばまあその家族とかはすごい大事ですよねなんかあのそれが面白い回答なのかわからないですけどあのコロナにの,あのパンデミックが起こる前はあの自分は東京から引っ越したいなって思ってたんですけどあの、うん、でもコロナになってあのやっぱり家族っていうか親が東京に住んでるのでそこからはあまり離れないようにしたいなっていうふうに思いましたその何かあった時に助けに行けたりするっていうことですねだからそのなんだろうあのー歩いていける範囲の人がとってもなんか大事だなと思いましたコロナがあってなんかこう大勢の人が集まるっていうのももちろん大事ですけどうんやっぱあの大事な人に<笑>があの歩いていける距離に住んでいるっていうのはすごくいいなって思います。Um, that's really difficult. That's a really difficult question to answer, but I guess, and this might be not the answer that you were hoping for, but I would say that it, the corona pandemic has really prioritized for me family. And, you know, before the pandemic, I was thinking that I wanted to leave Tokyo, but、um, my parents live here and Now, in this new time, I have been feeling like I really want to stay close to them. And I've, already, I've also felt recently that,、um, that what's within walking distance is very important. So the people who live within walking distance from me are really important. And, and I think that this will. Affect you know, the way we gather、um, in the future and, and how we are able to gather in the future.、Um, I mean, I think for me, and I'm sure many of your guests,、uh, American guests, have said the same thing, but the fact that this pandemic has coincided with this moment in the Black Lives Matter movement here and police brutality, but also a, a real kind of confrontation with. The racist structures in place in America, this is a real opportunity for us to imagine how to reconceive of a lot of our institutions. And, you know, there's that letter that、um, we see you, white American theater movement, also happening,、um, which, which I support. But I also wonder、um, how. I wonder whether institutions that were built on white supremacy can truly be reformed.、Um, and so, what I've been spending my time on is trying to, in conversation with other artists, trying to really envision what kind of what theater can look like、um, that is divorced from. Hierarchy that is divorced from white supremacy, that is divorced from the system of rewards、um, and accolades that truly serves、um, community and what, what that means, what that looks like, and how that can work.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are, these are、um, some important,、uh, important suggestions to focus on your family, to think about walking distance, to think about how you gather, how you get together, and then you know. They, The structures can they be changed? 
at all and uh, how can uh, art contribute to, to uh, make visible what this corona crisis has exposed uh, and Schechner, Richard Schechner reported a friend did say it's like a Fukushima nuclear disaster but the top is open of the reactor and you look inside life you see the people you see what's happening you see the meltdown and we don't know and where we are going so um sa toko and i uh, thank you for the update um, uh, from japan this is a, it was important to hear uh, from from you and uh, to get your experience how you uh, live this moment. Uh, tomorrow we have Nigel Smith with us who runs the Flea Theater in New York City and we will hear from Nigel how he is uh, braving that uh, storm which he has to um, uh, uh, get through uh, as, at the deck of his uh, uh, ship and uh, Jean-Claude van Italie, a great uh, playwright, a Belgian-born refugee after World War II, uh, uh, and came from Europe from his family and uh, wrote was probably the most significant anti-Vietnam War play in the 60s and then continued his practice as a writer and now also created a retreat a stay upstate New York, Shantigar, where he feels we also have to focus and engage with uh, the spiritual life, trans meditation and transcending practices uh, that art has done always over centuries. So um, we will... Um, Continue next week. We'll have Harry that speech and uh, Lee Boer and Maud Mitchell from the Mabu Mines, uh, Tiago Rodriguez from Portugal, Suzanne Kennedy from Berlin, who's doing very significant work. A new generation that grew up with games, videos, and uh, and is uh, employing and and using an aesthetic that is uh, an update, I think, on, on what we have seen so far. So, um and stay with us. So thank you again both uh, for being with us. Uh, to our audience, thank you for listening. I know it's complicated with translations, uh, with long uh, listening to different languages, but it's also a fact of the world that we do uh, live uh, in uh, multilingual uh, realities. It's on the streets of New York City. Um, it's on the workplaces. It's in collaborations. We just don't see it on the stages. Um, we're not used to it. It's the Gorky Theater in Berlin is uh, subtitling every show into short Turkish. Whatever they do, they think uh, it's important to consider um, uh, everybody's languages. And I think this is an important contribution also in this series that we do here and um, those languages. I uh, thank you for your most brilliant uh, translation as always. And we hope you will get uh, uh, back to work soon to the suicides forest, uh, which now seems like such a joyous occasion um, and what you uh, created and did and, um, and that we get out of suicides into a uh, celebration of uh, life and of theater and of uh, community. It's a significantly dangerous time which we're living in and I think artists help us and listening to them helps us. It helps me uh, to, to get through again. Thanks for HowlRound, uh, TJ, uh, VJ, uh, Thea and uh, Travis, uh, Andy and San Yang from the Siegel team, really. And thank you for listeners to, to, to take the time to listen to uh, Satoko, what she has to say. And Satoko, I hope you will be able to get back to Munich. I assume the Munich Kammerspieler, is it the one who invited you? Uh, uh, resident Theater. Resident Theater. Resident Theatre Munich, yes, uh, fantastic. So uh, this is a great honor to, to be working there and be invited. So uh, thank you all for listening and I uh, see you all tomorrow. I hope for a night show. Stay safe, do wear masks and stay tuned. Thank you.